What's up YouTube, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the New Balance 990 V2 in this grey and tan colorway. Today's video is brought to you by the good people from Hefalux. So Hefalux is my favorite go-to sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material as Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some added comfort to your shoes, be sure to check out their website down below and you'll see they sell four different insole options. So depending on the type of thickness and type of cushioning setup you want, there's a type of insole for everybody. So I've been a paying customer for Hefalux for years now, and I definitely stand by their product. So be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase and be sure to tell them I sent you. So back to the shoes, this is my latest New Balance pickup and it's another 990 V2 silhouette. The style code for this shoe is M990CP2 and it retailed for a price of 175 US dollars or 240 here in Canada. And while technically this is a GR release, it's not a special collaboration or anything like that, it's still been pretty much selling out everywhere that they've released. So jumping straight into the details, the base layer of this shoe, this is constructed out of this mesh material, and we have overlays of tan and turquoise colored nubuck on the edges. On either side of the toe box, we have these dark gray nubuck overlays, and then wrapping around the front toe cap, we have this tan colored suede. Moving downwards, so covering the quarter panel of both sides of the shoe, we have this darker gray colored suede. And in the middle, we have this reflective New Balance N logo, which is done in this maroon color. And we have an underlying layer of reflective silver 3M underneath. Moving back, so the top two eyelets are constructed out of this gray colored TPU. And then you'll see we have more of that mesh material that we saw earlier on the toe box. Wrapping around the bottom of the back heel, we have this turquoise colored suede. And in the middle, we have this oval shaped cutout, which reveals this underlying layer of reflective 3M. And we have USA embroidered in black across, representing that this shoe is a made in USA New Balance. And at the very top, we have another hit of this tan colored nubuck. Surrounding the bottom of the back heel, we have this black colored TPU heel clip, which helps give you added structure and stability for the back end of the shoe. Moving on to the laces, so these only come with one pair of laces, and they are standard flat style gray colored New Balance laces. Underneath this, we have your tongue, so the bottom half of the tongue is done in that same mesh material that we saw earlier on the toe box. And we have this burgundy or maroon colored overlay on the very top, with 990 New Balance Made in the USA branding embroidered in black. For the insoles, these come with your standard foam line insole. It's done in this black finish on the top, and we have New Balance Classic Branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of the 990 V2 sits atop this very chunky, absorbed foam midsole. So you can see the foam is left in white on the forefoot, but the back heel, which is much more sculpted and bulky, this is painted in this pale yellow off-white look. And surrounding the lateral side of the back heel, we have this bubble revealing the visible absorbed foam, which is done in this bold blue finish. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these 990 V2s. And for those wondering about fit, so these fit the same to me as all my other 990 V2s, so I personally stick true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I wear between a 9.5 and, and a 10 in my New Balance shoes. So for these guys, I'm okay with sticking true to size, but if you have narrow, normal, or slightly wide feet and you like more of a snug fit, you can definitely go a half size down as well. To give you guys a point of reference, I wear a 9.5 or a half size down in silhouettes like the 990 V3, V4, and V5, the 550, the 998, the 992, and the 993. And in comparison, I stick true to size or a size 10 in the 990 V2, the 997, the 1500, and the 1530. Moving on to comfort, so overall the 990 V2 is a decently comfortable shoe as far as a retro sneaker goes, but if you're looking for a shoe that has a ton of plushness and a lot of softness and cushioning, then you might not like the feeling of these on feet. To me, the Absorb Foam is a good balance between cushioning and support, but I definitely feel a lot more cushioning in the back heel and much less in the forefoot. But again, as far as just an everyday casual use shoe goes, just a shoe I'm going to be walking around in, these feel perfectly fine for me. Last but not least, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship on this pair, so this being a made in USA New Balance, as usual, the quality of the materials were pretty good. The suede felt very buttery and soft, and aside from a few minor stray stitches, I thought that the build on the shoe was pretty solid, I had no visible glue stains or anything like that, so all in all, pretty solid shoe from that standpoint. With all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet.
I don't know about you guys and where you are in the world right now, but here in Toronto, Canada, it's definitely getting a lot chillier. And with that said, I feel like this is the perfect fall shoe. For some reason, there's so many different tones and different colors on this pair, but somehow New Balance really made it work putting it all together. I like that it's a fresh new take on the 990V2, and they incorporate enough neutral tones like the gray and the tan, but they throw in splashes of color like the turquoise and the blue on the back heel. So really, it's no surprise that this pair, despite being a GR, is pretty much selling out everywhere. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this New Balance 990V2 in this gray and tan colorway. What are your overall thoughts on the colorway of this shoe, and are you a fan of the 990V2 in general, or is this more of a pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on my Twitter account at sean.go, and follow me on my website at seangoca Be sure to also check out my podcast called The Channel 8 Podcast. So the video version I uploaded right here on my YouTube channel if you want to watch it, but if you're looking to just stream the audio-only version, you can check it out on most of your major podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Podbean. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully it helped you in some way. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in my next video.